Thank you, uh, gutsy effort uh, for our young ladies. Man, that was a tough team, man. They're physical, they play hard, you know, they make you earn it. And uh, our, our kids, I, I thought I thought we got better. I say our kids, but our young ladies, they got better tonight. You know, they're able to respond to a little adversity. And, you know, when we got down, they didn't give up and uh, showed, some, showed some growth. Uh, so proud of their effort and their, their attitude tonight. Absolutely. Um, talk a little bit about what started clicking for the team in the fourth quarter. I mean, we got off to a good start in the first, then things kind of fell off track, then things started clicking again. Um, what What do you think was the difference maker there? I we sprung some uh, uh, defensive uh, stops where we were able to get stops on the defensive end and and uh, prevent them from scoring, which allowed us to get in transition and. Um, I thought we were getting good shots all night. You know, we weren't able to to finish. You know, uh, the ones that I think we're consistently will finish. In, you know, down the road. But um, I thought defensively we did a better job of not having breakdowns. We we're able to extend the floor. You know, and we pressed a little bit and applied a little pressure and matched up. And um, our zones weren't as effective as they've been. And I thought going to the man really allowed us to uh, bother them a little bit. And you know, we forced them in 24 turnovers, and I would like to think probably 10 to 12 of those probably in our man, you know, which we don't play a ton of man, but our kids, uh, our young ladies really you know, are able to execute tonight. So, um, Sydney, um, you make a big three with one, with one minute, nine seconds left in regulation, brings the team within one, kind of fires up the girls for the rest of the, for the, rest of the regulation and into overtime. Talk a little bit about what's going through your mind during that time. Um, every day, my teammates and my coaches, they, uh, they push me and they talk about the, like, the big moment and like, wanting that moment. And um, every day they challenge me, day in and day out, from practices to games. So just one of those things that um, they prepared me for that moment and they had full trust in me and I just had to have their back. Coach, on that, um, big three from Sydney followed by a layup from Ariane Green, both seniors. Um, what does the senior leadership from those two um, bring to the team this year? Um, you know, AG's been around uh, Long Beach a long time, you know, with the three ACLs, and she's been around some good basketball. You know, uh, when she was here as a freshman, I think her first year they won 20 games, and then in the next year they won 20 games, and then she uh, they went to the tournament. So she wasn't able to get on the floor, but she was around a lot of uh, winning. And, you know, and she saw what it looked like and the culture. So she brings that experience, you know, and uh, she's, <laughs> she's kind of mama bear to everyone. Um, and so is Sid. You know, Sid does a, a great job of taking care of uh, her teammates off the floor and, uh, and on the floor. And, you know, they've, she, they've been through a lot. You know, Sid's been, you know, two different schools. Um, and uh, she wanted to come somewhere where she could kind of grow, you know, as a basketball player and a, and a person. And I think she found, you know, found that place. But we wouldn't, you know, be as good with, without those, these young ladies, you know. So it's been great. You know, I challenge them to be better. You know, I'm coach, you know, so I'm always challenging them to be better leaders. And, uh, you know, but, you know, they are, they're doing, you know, they're coming in every day. They're working. I don't have to worry about their effort. And uh, they lead by example in, in, that, in that regard. So. Uh, Shanasia, um, new season high in points today, um, 26 points got to start um, just your second of the season. Um, talk a little bit about um, getting the start today and just what that means to you after I know you've battled some injuries um, and just um, getting to getting a chance to get onto the court and make make a difference like that. Um, I think it was huge. You know, I wanted to come out and uh, start the game off right. I think I had like a couple back to back uh, layups and I think the rest of the game, it just came to me. I was slowing down. Um, also, it came along with like my teammates, them finding me, me slowing down, getting to my right shot. So I think it was just confidence, uh, you know, finally, you know, getting that starting spot back. I had a lot of confidence tonight, so I just played my heart out. Um, Coach, can you talk a little bit about Shamija's performance and um, just getting 26 points out of her and, um, you know, yeah. 10 made, made field goals? Yeah, yeah, she, you know, Shanaja, it's not surprising. I mean, this young lady is so talented, you know, and, um, She's grown so much, you know, not just uh, on the floor, but off the floor, you know, and uh, we challenged her to, to get better on the defensive end. You know, uh, she didn't play have to play much defense in high school, you know, so it was a, a challenge for her to come in and really understand how to truly defend at this level, you know, and uh, the energy and effort uh, it takes to, to um, compete at this level. But you have to understand first, you know, and it, it takes, she's never watched film. She's never, she hasn't done a lot. So coming to her third year, I think 
Uh, my expectations for her um, were to just, you know, you've been here three years, and I told her you got to act like you've been here three years, you know, and you got to be, you have to be dialed in, you have to lead by example, and um, you know, she's she was out all summer, you know, with, with a back injury, you know, and she hurt her knee, so she's had some adversity in, in that regard, and you know, it's a little bit, you know, why she hasn't been starting. Um, uh, but we don't really talk about starting as much, you know. We just play your role, you know. When it's, you, it's time for you to play, you know, you, you go out there and, you you know, you have your teammates back and you just do your job, you know, you play your role. So she's been great. She's positive attitude, you know, whether she – I know she loves to, to start or who doesn't, but she understands that she, she trusts me and she's going to do whatever we need her to do. Um, you know, it's about time, you know, that we, we, you know, put her in that lineup, I think, with her and Makai and Justina, you know, that's a tough, tough guard, you know. Uh, and uh, Makai and Justina, uh, not like they had a great night, but consistently those three guards, I think, are going to be the top three, I mean, top three guards in our conference, you know. I, I, I'm not saying one, two, three, but they're going to be at the top because they are so talented and, you know, you know they they play well off, off each other and they're, you know, dual threats and they can do a lot. So, um, I'm just proud of her growth, you know. I mean, she, you know, our, as a student, I mean, she had over 3.0 last semester, 3.4, I think, and 3.6, 3.4, 3.4. Four. Four, you know, I think she'll have over 3.0 this semester. So there's just so much more that goes on behind the scenes. You know, people just see when we're out on the floor. I mean, but there's so much that goes on, the hard work, and and I've been on her, and I challenge her to be better, and she she accepts the challenge. You know, so just proud of her. You know, and uh, I'm excited that. She's able to uh, have this type of game because I think she can do this consistently. And not necessarily 26, but she can impact the, this game in so many different ways. You know, once she really, truly understands, understands that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be trouble, you know. Busy week this week. Um, obviously, overtime game tonight, overtime win. And then turning around, going to the USC tournament, um, UT Rio Grande Valley on Friday, USC on Saturday. Um, What's the prep looking like for the team going into that tournament? Yeah, this is similar to something what we would do like at a, in a in a conference tournament or NCAA tournament. So I schedule it this way to kind of um, uh, simulate what we're going to see at the end of the year. So we'll play a game, we'll have a day to rest, and then we'll play two games back to back. You know, hopefully, you know, we'll get top two and we don't have to do that. But you know, but in any event, it's kind of a tournament format. Um, where you play back-to-back -back games, you got to play a lot of games in a short amount of time. So prep is always different. You don't have a lot of time. I think more than anything is resting their bodies and just getting them mentally prepared to, to face uh, the teams that we're going to face and uh, giving them a feel uh, for you know what they're going to see on Saturday uh, or Friday. I'm sorry, and then and then Saturday uh, with USC. So.